I'm Phil Lovett, this is Bike Racing Without Mercy and it's quarter to seven on Friday morning and I'm about to start my 40-20 bike training session. However, before I do so, I thought it'd be quite helpful to share another little fat loss tip. And as you know, before training, I'll always have my low fat, low carb protein shake mixed with a bit of almond milk and coconut milk, plus plenty of water and some caffeine. And that all helps create the um, hormonal environment to stimulate fat loss, but also preserve muscle. However, the protein shake does have around about 150 calories in it. And during my bodybuilding days, I learned that I can replace the protein shake with an amino acid supplement like this one from Phil Richards. And an amino acid supplement basically breaks down the proteins into the constituent amino acid components and delivers them directly into the bloodstream and does exactly the same job to help preserve and protect muscle tissue during the training. It also provides a little bit of energy. However, it's zero calories. Therefore, it's another little calorie saving along the way that will hopefully contribute towards my fat loss. So let's see how adding this into the regime will help me get down to kind of a I don't know, a racing weight of 66 kilograms or maybe even a tiny bit less. So with the amino acid supplement, all you do is take a scoop, I think there's about 20 grams worth there, mix it in with some water, mix it all up and consume. I say consume because this one's um, a naturally flavoured, i.e. with stevia, um, tart cherry flavour. It'll certainly wake you up. I still have the coffee, however, I'm just mixing up in the water here. Yeah, not the nicest, cold water. And, um, you yeah, know, needs must, I'm in a rush. And that will help, as I say, stimulate cortisol and adrenaline and that starts the process of um, liposis, which breaks down body fat to create energy. And I think I should also add here that in terms of fasted training, it's something that really you ought to build up to. Um, I wouldn't recommend, and of course none of this is advice, going straight into an intense sprint training session or strength training session or here a 40-20 session if you haven't sort of kind of acclimatised the body to fasted training. And also do remember that I eat plenty of carbs and food throughout the day. Um, and my last meal is around about 10 o'clock at night. And so I've got plenty of carbohydrates and therefore glycogen in the system to help fuel the training session. First thing this morning, my unclothed weight was 65.2 kilograms, a little drop from 65.9 kilograms yesterday. As I say, weight loss isn't linear, it's up and down. Look there, 66 kilograms, and that's with all the water, um, amino acids and all that kind of stuff in me. Believe it or not, with the window open, it's actually very cold, so I've got my little Adidas smock on. It'll soon come off as things heat up. And um, in the 40-20 uh, training session in Zwift, I've just, just manipulated up my FTP all the way to 347. Yeah, obviously that's years away. Um, because if I do that, it then takes the 40 second sprint all the way up to um, 380 watts, which is the intent today, because I'd like to have a little bit of progression. Um, the last time I did it, they were 375 watts. That does mean, however, um, Zwift sets for me five minutes at 313 watts, which is quite tiring ahead of doing those 4020s. So let's see how I go um, with the amino acids now flowing through the system. 20 seconds to go, in this five minute FS at 315 watts. It's certainly you know, very doable, but very hard work at the same time. Over the marker now, ERG lag. Three minutes recovery at 175. We've got about 15 seconds to go before the final set of five 380 watt sprints for 40 seconds. Feeling quite good and quietly confident of a little bit of, a little bit of progression here. Here we go. As always, the first set feels lovely. 
focusing on deep breaths. Nice tight core. Not swinging the hips. And gripping the handlebars tightly. And there's the leg down. Yeah, that's harder. Breathing right up. Heart rate 173. Not quite too confident now, are you? Or am I? Without taking the legs. Especially the quad. And over. Three to go. I think, yeah. deadlift before this so it's definitely progress but I started with a little bit more energy last Saturday as I say when I did this I'd had my deadlift the shoulder press EDT session I don't think I lost any energy as a result of switching from the protein shake to the amino acids either. But let's see how all this continues over a longer period of time. It's warm down now. Okay, following my warm down on the 40 20s, I've just decided to flip over to what bike hub to attempt the three minute test. It's given me a target of 397 watts. I've never yet managed to do that. I think the best I've ever managed so far is about two and a half minutes. PRG mode is engaged. We're about to go for it, and I know this is not going to be at all pleasant. Here we go, five seconds.
It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Huh. Kind of got to 2.35, I guess that's five seconds worth of improvement. So, I'll keep chipping away at it. Now, for a much more leisurely warm down in my bike hub. Consistency, that's the name of the game here. Although I might loosen it up a tiny bit at the weekend because the weight loss is progressing quite nicely.